We're here with Mazza Stay after a, a last minute Cheshire United 2 1 win at Beaconsfield. Mazza left it late, three points. Couldn't be more happier, could you? Uh, no, look, we said there at the end there's many ways to win a football match and uh, today we, we've managed to nick one at the death and throughout the season you, you've got to do that. Um, I thought we've had a couple against us so it's, it's nice that it's gone the other way. Uh, I thought obviously the, the, the penalty, we've got a problem with penalties here haven't we? So uh, <laughs> missing the penalty at 1-0 you know, to make it 2-0 I think, I think then the game would have probably been dead. Um, but to miss that and then give the goal away we did was disappointing and then to be honest I thought it was just going to peter out and we, we would have picked up a disappointing result but the lads dug in um, a set piece there at the end has got us the got us the goal and you know Rick Rick has gone and got on his second goal so um, yeah I, delighted with the three points I wasn't sure if it was you or JD that was shouting at the end there'd be one more chance there'd be one more chance yeah but, and there was yeah we, we always felt like look when we got the two forwards on the pitch uh, two out and out forwards we always thought we'd get more chances and with Jordan and Zach and then JC providing them and you know uh, Rod and uh, Alex offering us the width as well we, we thought we would get another chance and look it's come right at the death from from a knockdown from a set piece it was second phase and you know Rick's, Rick's got it over the line so look many ways to win a football match and you know that was the key thing today to come to come here which we don't like doing uh, we're not very successful here so to come here and just get the three points is what we were after it was a slow start in the first half. Um, uh, apart from Alex had a wicked free kick that the mm. keeper did well to put it so, over. Yeah. So what did you say at half time to get them going? Just it was average. Uh, we thought we were just really, really average. And you know, if you're going to be successful, you, you you need to up the ante. And that's what we said. Second half, you you can't perform like that again. And I thought we come out really, really quick. And um, you know, got got a good goal. He's taken it very well and put us one 0 up. And then, like I said, I think the, the penalty, which for me was a, a clear penalty on Zach, and you know, unfortunately, the key, the, unfortunately for us, the keepers made a good save and we missed the follow up. Um, but yeah, look, we we weren't our best today, Giles. There's no two ways about that. But sometimes that's even more pleasing that you're not at your best and you you come to a difficult place and you pick up the three points in the last minute, it, it makes it even nicer yeah. sometimes. It's not as if we weren't creating today, which I know you guys make sure that we're creating, creating, creating. Mm. Um, but what else were you pleased about today? Um, it's, yeah, a few things. I thought we actually defended quite well throughout the game. You know, we're disappointed about the goal, conceded one, went down the side, and we didn't actually deal with it correctly. Um, and unfortunately, you know, up he's ended up putting it in his own net. Um, delighted for, delighted for Roddy's first game, first start back for the, for the club since he's, for his injury and you know I mentioned to him he's been absolutely outstanding in his rehab and, and that is why he's come back and looks as strong and look as fit as he is so that's you know delighted that he's come through with, with no problems another game for Alex I thought he looked good I thought he played well defended well and was good in the good in the attacking areas as well so yeah there's some there is some positives in there but there's definitely some individuals as well that know you know we can't be carrying too many performances like that again because you may not get a get away with a result and uh, that's something I'm sure we'll be working on Thursday going into New Year's Day against Howard. I was going to say, it's, uh, how, how more is it important now that others are playing on Saturday and us on Monday? Yeah, I, I, to be honest mate, I think we just got to worry about ourselves. Uh, what other people do with their fixtures and their schedules is, you know, it's up to them. We've got to worry about ourselves and we got to prepare properly for, for Saturday's fixture against Harrow, which, you know, we know them very well. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a fixture that our lads are going to have to perform better than they did today because I think mean, if we don't perform if we perform as how we have today, I'm not sure we'll be we'll be standing there with three points. So the lads will know that they'll be it'll be very very clear on uh, training uh, what we need to do to go and try and win that game and uh, hopefully they'll be able to carry that out. Thank you for your thoughts and we'll see you in the new year. Cheers, thank you.